What is happening guys, this is Dreadtack Gaming bringing you another epic video of Monster Hunter World. Today I'll be showing you my build for the Heavy Pogan, a very unique playstyle and definitely a must try for all of you out there who is just sick and tired of meta builds or all out attack boost stacking builds. <laughs> How would you like to play in CQB with a Heavy Pogan, firing shots of spread ammo on the monster's face while being impenetrable? Today, I bring you my Goliath build. Now this build revolves around being on a monster's face, dealing damage efficiently, and surely staying alive while doing it. I've noticed there aren't many heavy bowgun builds that go out of the way. I see builds revolving around damage and crits and speedruns. Uh, this is a very different and fun build. It would normally mean spitting at the monster's face while they continuously attack and them not being able to penetrate through your ballistic shield. Uh, and when the opportunity presents itself, spray spreads of ammo on their faces. Or weak spots, either breaking their parts or flinching them. <laughs> so uh, let me get to the build. There you go. I'm using Destruction's Fusillade. That is the Nergigante uh, weapon. It gives me 285 attack, neutral affinity. Deviation is average. Uh, deviation is where your shots uh, would go far from your uh, target reticule uh, when you're moving. So that's deviation. Okay. Just a little info on that. And I've modded in uh, shield and two close range ups. It has a uh, wyvern heart that is the machine gun. I've augmented it into health regen, but unfortunately I'm an idiot. Uh, that should have been an affinity boost to give me 10% more affinity. And yeah, all in all it gives me 30% affinity base. I'll show you later why. And here you go. I've got Nergigante Helm Beta that gives me 2 points of maximum might, 2 expert jewels for critical eye. I've got Yergon Male Beta that is 1 point of part breaker and I've slotted in a spread jewel 3. Kaser Vine Braces Alpha that gives me 2 points in weakness exploits, slotted it into expert jewel. Uragon Coil Beta that gives me another point in part breaker. Slotted in Tenderizer Jewel for another weakness exploit. And True Shot for special ammo boost. Uragon Greaves the Alpha that gives me two points in guard. And I put in a True Shot Jewel for another special ammo boost. And the Charmous Iron Side Charm for guard, three points. And uh, Affinity Booster and Rocksteady. So that gives me all in all a tree set bonus of uh, your gun protection that is guard up. Uh, allows you to guard against ordinarily unblockable attacks. Those are Teostras, Supernova, Nergigante's Dive Bomb, and uh, all that stuff. Uh, guard 5 that gives me massively decreases the impact of attacks and reduces stamina by depletion by 50%. Whenever you block attacks, you won't be staggered as much and you won't lose stamina while blocking because when you get to 0% stamina while you're blocking, you're going to lose your shield and you're going to probably take in damage. So uh, that's that. Critical Eye Level 3, that is from the three pieces of Expert Jewels to get me 10% affinity. Weakness Exploit 3, that gives me 50% in... Uh, Affinity when I'm hitting weak spots. Part breaker 2, 20% uh, more damage when you hit parts. Special ammo boost 2, that gives me more damage uh, with my Wyvern Heart, the machine gun thing. Uh, I just love that move, that's why I put it in there. Uh, maximum Might level 2, that gives me 20% increased affinity when I'm not using up stamina or when stamina is full. Uh, which is in this case, since it's a heavy bogan, you're not going to be using stamina that much. You're going to be planted right in the monster's face dealing damage. 
So the only time you're losing stamina is when you're rolling out or when your uh, weapon is sheathed and running and repositioning or whatever. And ordinarily, you're not going to be dealing with damage while doing those. So uh, this is a must-have. Spread shots, this is the bread and butter of the build. You're going to be using your spread ammo to deal damage to the monster. Artillery one, I kind of just put it in there to get uh, an additional attack percentage with my river ammo, giving me those sweet wake up calls. Or when the when the monster is down, you could ham in those uh, river ammos. So that's basically it. Uh, gives me this. It's a pretty defensive build, uh, although I think it's a defensive aggressive build. <laughs> If that makes sense because uh, you're gonna be really tanky with this getting in the monster's face while putting in those uh, spread shots see with a heavy bow gun uh, whenever you deal damage and uh, with the spread shots you're required to get into critical distance which is right in front of their face or whatever uh, which is normally when you're in front of them they're gonna be hamming you with attacks continuously and since you have the shield, guard and guard up, uh, you're, they're not going to be dealing much damage to you. Unless uh, you're shooting all the way and uh, blocking with the heavy bowgun requires you not to be shooting or reloading. As long as you're holding L2, uh, aiming, uh, you're going to be blocking their attacks. So that is how you block with a heavy bowgun. Since I'm a lance main, I, I enjoy... Uh, weapons that has shields and uh, this is probably one of my most favorite shielded weapon or at least a weapon that you could put in a shield there so yeah uh, decorations uh, the artillery jewel is there it's not really required to be there I just kind of put it there to test it out you could definitely replace artillery artillery jewel with attack jewels also the expert jewels here you could place in uh, attack jewels if you have seven attack jewels that would be awesome you could replace the expert jewels the artillery jewels and the true shot jewels with uh, attack gems that would be fantastic uh, but definitely this is adjustable to your place so if you're fighting monsters and you're not comfortable with uh, this setup you could probably swap in the expert jewels for Miasma jewels for Balazad or uh, resistance jewels from for the uh, respective element that you're fighting uh, You could also put divine protection uh, If you're not comfortable with damage you're you're taking also And yeah, this is pretty adjustable. It would depend on your playstyle. Personally. I like this setup or at least this is what I have jewels that I have uh, sometimes I do I do replace true shot jewels and artillery jewels with my divine protection or I would slot in their uh, steadfast jewel to uh, so I won't get stunned or you can probably put in vitality jewels as well whatever fit your playstyles it's fine okay so yeah if ever you wouldn't have a spread jewel, you could probably get a lava sea of greaves, put it here for the spread shot. But I'm not sure what part of Uragon uh, armor you could put in here. You could probably replace this uh, Van Braces with the Uragon gloves and then put in your helm a dragon. King eye patch to get the weakness exploit, but you're gonna be losing maximum might with that, and you're gonna be use, losing two slots here. So yeah, it would definitely pay off a little bit, cause you could remove the tenderizer jewel here and put it in your dragon king eye patch. So it would free up a, a slot here. You could probably put in a either a critical boost jewel or another jewel for destroyer jewel to get the part breaker level 3 so it would adjust on your playstyle this is just a suggestion just try it out and 
yeah. So, I will be showing you a clip after this uh, video. It it shows you that I'm fighting Nergigante. It's not a tempered Nergigante, but it shows you, it gives you the idea on how to play this uh, build. It's like a tanky gunner. <laughs> Uh, that's why I called it the Goliath, you know, like the StarCraft Goliath. <laughs> uh, although the Goliath doesn't use a shotgun, but <laughs> yeah, I just went kind of creative there. So I, I hope you like this build. Uh, try it out. It's not uh, really the best build in the world. I'm not sure if there's any other build like this, but I just kind of experimented it with uh, what I have. So yeah. That is it for my Goliath Heavy Bowgun build. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please drop a like if you did or don't if you didn't. Leave a comment down below on what you think about this build, if it's viable or not. Subscribe and click the bell beside it for more Monster Hunter World videos. This is Dreadtag Gaming wishing you all a happy hunt. Peace.